Oh, we're going live. Oh, there you are. Oh, no. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, we're a bit fuzzy. What's going on? Not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not ready. Like I know, right? Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody? Good to be here once again. Now, apologies, by the way. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm apologising for us going live a little bit more. Why are we very fuzzy? I don't know. No idea. It's a lens clean. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, maybe we need some more light on the harness. Oh, my days. There you go. Goodness me. It's a bit better. A bit scary. <clears throat> I'm very tired. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. How are we? Good to be here once again. I hope you can hear us and see us okay. Uh, lots of streaming lights up there a little bit. Anyway, yeah. makes a nice uh, <laughs> bit of difference. Uh, I apologise uh, for the stubble. I've managed to break two Mine's razors. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to break two razors, so I've had to order another one that's coming tomorrow. So anyway, I apologise. Such bad luck with razors. I do. I don't have very good luck with razors. Mm. Anyway, uh, welcome. Today is uh, what I was uh, March the fourth, Monday, fun day. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, I was working on the markets. Um, we are on to the monthly markets now, uh, so I was working on those. It was a bit of a washout, unfortunately, on the Saturday, um, but uh, Sunday was a glorious yes, day. No. Yeah, I not know. here, but the grandkids were building snowmen. I know, on, and then all of a sudden, that was on the Saturday, and uh, Sunday morning, it was very frosty first thing, and it turned into a beautiful day here, so much so, we, we took the boat shopping. <laughs> <laughs> took the boat out to Sainsbury's to we give it a run out. So it was very nice. Uh, anyway, let's get back on to on passive just to bring you up to date with uh, a few things. Uh, one is a uh, brand new website. Don't know if you've had chance. If. If, 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 if you've had chance to go and have a look at it. Uh, we are... Back to uh, one of the old colours that we've uh, always seen, and uh, this is actually probably one of my favourite colours because it is the same colouring as the On Passive logo, if you've noticed, uh, which is the dark blue, light blues, uh, like this a lot. And this one for me is very, very crisp. So uh, I like this a lot, this one, and again, Sticking very much with the business feel. Um, I like the way that uh, they've sectioned stuff out on this. And uh, yeah, really, really nice. I do like it. I like the graphics, uh, the AI part of it. And certainly sticking with uh, the business end of what On Passive is all about. Did like that. Also, uh, what else happened? Well, I took the liberty on, what day was it? Let me just find it for you. I took the liberty of, um, on Saturday morning, of dropping our CEO, uh, Ash Mafara, a little text uh, after O-Ron. Vivian Benny, thank you so much, my darling, oh, for you, your super, super sticker. sticker. You're taking my job. Oh, sorry. Go on. Please Thank feel you, free. Thank you, Vivian Benny, for your lovely super sticker, darling. Not necessary, but we appreciate it all the same. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I uh, so much better than you. I, I dropped Ash uh, a little text on Saturday morning, um, really to thank him for uh, the webinar that was uh, on uh, Let's O and Minus. Um, why did I do that? Uh, as I explained in the recap, that I really thought it was a good insight into the journey uh, that he's taken of on passive and uh, the other bits and pieces around it. Anyway, I'm texting the CEO. I'm uh, even texting with the CEO. Anyway, uh, let me let me tell you. I'll uh, just read it out what I said to him. I said thank you to the uh, to the insight into your journey, brother. Uh, another piece of the puzzle from our end has been added in. And I say that because uh, a lot of the things he was saying, if you reflect back to time periods uh, in the on passive journey, 
for him telling us his story of why he's done stuff and having phase and having backups and phase one, two and three, etc. Um, I really thought it was a good insight into a lot of things. Anyway, he texted me back and he said, thanks for the feedback. And he said, what a great live, Brother Red. Well done. Agree on asking for comments and more engagements. Makes sense. See you at the very top. Now, why have I read this out to you? Why? Because it really does show how our CEO thinks. He, he thinks the same as we all do, really, that he likes to get feedback from all you guys out there uh, of really of what, what your feelings are and, what, you know, it helps him enormously if he has this kind of interaction and feedback from the people out there. And I just thought I'd bring that to the table today to show you uh, that he really does care about what we are and who we are and what we think and all the rest of it. And it really was amazing uh, for it. So uh, there you go. He is a real person. He does text and all the rest of it. It's Jane. got the makings of a good film, hasn't it? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you remember back um, probably quite a while now, I'm probably talking maybe two, probably two years ago, he, all, he did say that he is documenting himself, uh, his journey of on passive for exactly that reason, whether it be a book, uh, whether it be a biography or even a film. He has been writing uh, it all down so that it can be documented on this journey. So kudos to our CEO. Anyway, uh, I'll come back in again, but over to Jane. Hi guys, I'm all 284 Is of that? you. 284 Woo! of you looking at my bags. I look so tired. Who knew? You never told me. I can't believe you haven't said a word. That's because I love you so much for the way you are, Jay. God, lordy. Anyway, I'm, re oh, no, I'm, on. I'm, oh. re I'm really excited anyway, because guess where we're going tomorrow? Oh, I know. We're going to see June, June. part two at the cinema. At the cinema. Man, I can't I'm wait. Excited. Love it. I'm only going to keep him company. Yeah, and that's and that is a true story. That is what a good wife does. That is a true story. <laughs> it is. Not really my scene, but I don't mind. I'll go for the popcorn. Um, yeah, I look very tired. Uh, exciting weekend and end of last week all round, wasn't it? With Ash and all sorts of meetings, and isn't it funny how? I don't, we don't, but we know many people that do stress when they don't see him. They think he's gone off to one of Elon Musk's star satellite stations or something. <laughs> I think they just think he's disappeared. And he hasn't, has he? He's just really busy on our behalf. And we certainly, certainly do appreciate him for that. And, and also, you know, I know from a family point of view how much time Red spends on on passive just delivering this so i know that if everything we do is built around what time red's doing what for this delivery during the week so if we go and see the children we have to be back or we do it while we're there if we go and see his parents or you know so and this is nothing is it really compared to what ash must put the time in and fair play kudos to his family for you know hopefully i mean we know they support him but you know for like actually letting him get on with that because it family is really important isn't it but there you are speaking of family all on my own without a parachute on saturday i went and saw my mum so red normally drives but he was working and he was very very tired bless him from the um webinar on friday night so i took myself yeah. off to a full round trip and some may of you may seen a picture i met up with my sisters doesn't happen very often one lives in ireland and one lives up by mum so i met up with my sisters <clears throat> and we went to visit mum together and it was quite lovely actually she was in a very silly mood nothing makes sense she can't really see us um you know 
but I, we managed to make her laugh so she can hear us slightly but it was it was lovely really um it was quite a nice day tiring and i can see now how tiring that was because i look very tired and it is a long way it's about a it's one 500 si mile trip round it no nah, how far it's 160 it like it. it's 167 miles each way right there you go <clears throat> so and i did it all on my own even stopped for a coffee and put some fuel in the car go me <laughs> Because I, 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 if anyone knows me, I don't like putting fuel in the car. I like to think it runs on fumes. <laughs> so, who, who gets in the car? Who, knew, who <laughs> knew? Who knew you've got to put gas in the car? Who knew, right? Anyway, anyway, if it's your birthday today, you share it with no less than Alexander Graham Bell. Oh, really? Indeed. No indeed. way. And also, for you music lovers out there, Vivaldi. Oh, four Vivaldi seasons. Vivaldi of the Four Seasons. Tell him the story. We went to see. A candlelight thing. You, I think we told you this, and it was a, the old. Um, it was a historic building in Gloucester, and it was lit up by three hundred um, candles. Nah, and more than that. Come on. Was it? Yeah. Was it more than three hundred? Yeah, three thousand. Yeah, probably more like three thousand. Actually, yeah, you're right. And there was a string quartet, and they were doing. We get three hundred in here. <laughs> and this is very true. I, I like a candle. <laughs> I like a candle. And. Um, it was a string quartet and they were doing Vivaldi's Four Seasons and it, it was spine tingling. And oh, amazing. I, and I, our el, we took our eldest daughter, who thankfully I passed on my love of, she likes a bit of Vivaldi. We bit like of classical. A bit of classical. So, which Red's mum really does like too. She, you, she could listen to any classical thing. Come on, Radio 5? Okay. No, no, it's... Um, what, a classic FM? Yeah, classic know. FM. And she yes, can tell it. you within about the first three notes of who it is, what it is, and what year. She's amazing because she absolutely... Well, she's classically trained uh, yeah. pianist yes. uh, on the piano. And she actually, yeah. that's uh, her story really, is that she was born in South Africa, uh, my mum. And at the age of 16, she won a scholarship to come back to the UK. And uh, part of this was going to a finishing school, if women know what those are. It was about walking upright with a book on your head uh, all that sort of stuff but part of the scholarship was to the royal philharmonic orchestra orchestra yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. where yeah. she she studied with them for i think until the age of uh, 18 16 to 18 and then she ended up being a piano teacher music teacher at a junior school yeah so sure. she is and my grandmother was is a pianist as well yeah so yeah so and we love a bit of, i love a bit of classical anyway so it is also vivaldi's birthday today um just going on to so many of you know that red and i went to a funeral last week more funerals than weddings for sure it not definitely good, not, not good. Good. Oh, we're definitely getting old aren't we yeah it's frightening and um on friday night another one of our friends passed away so we another have, funeral no, we have another funeral to go to i'm not sure when it is yet but I, but one thing that it's uh, I mean obviously it's been a huge talking point in the Redfern household uh, death unfortunately because it's been oh, it's been like all around us uh, but in a good way and I do mean this most sincerely to obviously to the bereaved but in a good way it's really made us. Uh, refocus a little mm. bit on so a lot of things it's very sobering yeah especially, no, especially I don't mean from a drink point of view chris johnson if you're watching he is he's just come on he's just know. woke up oh, better late than never i know right <laughs> uh so it it's it's been very sobering as as far as that is concerned yeah. um but uh it, it's really reaffirmed uh our lifestyle choices mm. and why we do what we do i mean in all honesty, there's not a lot of people who would live on a narrowboat. We live in 58 foot by six foot six. Two Which people. Right, smell lovely, isn't it? You're, you're, that's because you <laughs> are lovely. But <laughs> I'm I I right up there, aren't I? <laughs> God, you can quit now, darling. <laughs> uh, so, um, but it give the the reason that we chose it is a because we love traveling and that's what we do on the boat and we are literally taking our home wherever we go mm. but also it's the only way we can financially afford uh to be able to do what we do yeah because if we had still had bricks and mortar and all the rest of it 
especially in the UK now. Mm. I don't know about the rest of the world, but in the UK now, ouch. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah. Stand, standing yeah. still and breathing in the UK I feel so sorry for costs our kids. so much money. I, I feel so sorry for our kids. I'm sure it was the same. I'm sure it was the same for us. I'm I'm sure we struggled as well. We you know, but um you Vivian Benny, you're so right. Honest life is so short. You're a long time dead, as they uh, say. Yeah. So yeah, so there you are. Anyway, just going off, I'll let I'll hand it back to you in a no, minute. No, you no, you know. you're doing a great job. Oh, thank you for joining me on my show, darling. <laughs> Um, if any of you, those of you out there know I love a bit of poetry and there's a really, really good poem out. I'm not going to read it to you. I'm going to let you go and read it yourself. And it's called The Dash. Yes. Brilliant. So it's such a such an amazing short poem about the dash. Now, you know what the dash is, don't you? The dash is between when you read in someone's eulogy, the year where they were born to the year they died. And then in the middle, there's a dash. OK, and it's about the dash and what you do with the dash. I actually and Jean think... Lieber knows the one I'm on yeah, about. But... And it's by Linda Ellis. Look it up. It is so it's just it's just a, such a fantastic way with words. And it's just it just applies to everyone. I'm, so... I'm actually going to big up uh, Chris Johnson here because I, I think I, I, I think I do think that he actually posted it once. Uh, the yeah. video, the video of the dash. Now. I might with be girl, wrong with the girl, yeah. Isn't it? I might be wrong. So good, but I'm sure he had posted it, it is once. So good. It's a friend of mine who knows I'm a poetry buff sent it to me the other day and said, "Jane, have a listen to this." Oh, and it's just, just yeah, it is. It's just something else, you know. It it's so clever, but it applies to everyone, and it is about basically it's about what you do. With how your, you start and how you end it's what you do with nothing it's what you do with your dash what you do with your dash and it's super super clever a fatima has just googled it have a read fatima it's just to me it's such a wonderful wonderful poem and if anyone has noticed i've got some new bins so i can see you all now <laughs> or as you say in the states eyeglasses eyeglass eyeglasses Eyeglasses. Eyeglasses. Yeah, I got some new specky, specky tools. So, my God, I, honestly, you don't realise how bad your sight is until you get some new glasses, right? I mean, obviously, I've been struggling for months, and anyway, not to worry. Yeah, Jean, she does look fantastic. Thank you, Jean. You're an earth angel, darling, and I do appreciate you. So, I appreciate my, everyone on here. Everyone's so sweet. Yes, the dash. The dash. It's called the dash, and it's by a poet poem called Linda Ellis. Have a look at it. There are so many people doing it now. There's a lot of versions, but it's also very popular at funerals, I suppose. If you like, it's a bit of a morbid subject, really, isn't it? Sorry, I do apologise. Um, yeah, no, but it's a really good. It's a, it's just a really good poem. Yeah, it, the, um, Pat Parents, right? It's not about the beginning or the end. It's what we do with a bit in the middle. Absolutely, and it's so so true. And um, yeah, my friend sent it to me the other day. Absolutely jealous to hell that i didn't actually write that myself because it's so good yeah so so good anyway but i think you can have it back now done thank you for no no that's me. it then we'll see you later and uh, we'll get off yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> we've both been to the gym today guys oh, I've, I've, today i've done uh walk the dog six miles and, yeah. and i went to circuits at the gym yeah do you know i read this little thing about the gym and there was a lady on there and she's 60 and she works out and somebody had said to her in a joking way why are you bothering how rude right i'm nearly 60 how why are you bothering and you know she said her really answer was so clever she said because i'm looking after my 80 year old self and it's so clever isn't it it's so smart that she's actually preparing herself to get older and her joints seizing up etc and, and you know like bone density and stuff so it's such a night nice, and she that was her answer and i thought it was very very smart so because we it is really important we look after ourselves especially as our future is brighter. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we're going to be busy. I think it's, oh yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It's going to be uh, a very, very good year. That's for sure. Yeah, Jean, you're right. You're right. Everyone sits there. I mean, we saw some people at this funeral the other day that we've not seen for 20 years. And it was a bit of a shock. And I, I was hoping people weren't as shocked when they looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Anyway, there you go. Go on. You can have it back now. No, I've got nothing. Sorry, I, I didn't have anything. I know you've done really well. <laughs> In the words of Chris Johnson, I got nothing. Yeah. He, I don't think he's on here, to be fair. And I was going to say red, just for him. No, I don't. I think, think he don't think he likes me anymore. Why? 
I don't know. I just don't think he likes. He's not my. He just doesn't like me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, talking of, call me. I, I didn't. To be honest, I, I, I will hold my hands up and say I didn't listen to Chris and Marty today. Uh, I do hope that they are both uh, a lot better. I know they're suffering from the lurgy, and uh, obviously we are thinking of them. Uh, yeah, and Marty. Lots of other I, I heard. Uh, well, where were you? Because I listened to some of it. Did and you? Marty sounds rough. Oh, okay. Yes, he did. And I. I've read the notes from the other night. I didn't go on the webinar. One, because it was 2 a.m. in the morning. And I did, obviously, I was on the 360 because I have my own little corner here and I listened to it. It was a bit of a lag for well, me, that. I don't think it was nothing to do with um, OpenX. It's the internet here. So it, everything <laughs> in red says, I can hear it back um, a bit later. I'm a little bit behind. And I think, Ash, you asked me a question. I think Ash must have thought I fell asleep. I hadn't I because I hadn't heard the Bit. Red was asking me a question about something I hadn't already heard, so I wasn't asleep. I was paying attention. You were, and but of course, I was a and, of course behind. Had, and of course, on Saturday you had to uh, drive and see. And I had mom. to drive and see mum. Um, and sometimes, yeah, you have some choices, guys. Choices. Um, Absolutely, it I is my life. Warm. And uh, uh, what else happened on Saturday? Jean knows what happened Saturday. Oh, yeah. We went. To India. They yeah. did. Where do we go? Calcutta. Calcutta. Yeah. Which is a bit hard to a lot of people to say because you want to say coal. And it's not. It's cal. Anyway, it was amazing. If you haven't had chance to see any of the videos from Calcutta, from the Indian event, it was very, very, very well done. So any mm, of amazing. you guys that put that show on, 2,000 people were there. They had dancers and they had people. Oh, it was great. Really good fun. <laughs> so, it was who's Carl Cutter. Carl Cutter. No, uh, nobody. No, Carl Cutter. <laughs> Wasn't he a DJ? <laughs> who's Carl Cutter? I don't yeah. know. We don't know him. He's in on passive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone. So, um, yeah, you did go to that, didn't you? You were very, very good. He was. I wasn't here. I was with mum, but he Red did go to that. I, I jumped on that in between working. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, no. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I don't know what you would do with that on passive, darling. I'm filling up your time. <laughs> it is my life, and I'm very, very happy, pleased. Yeah, Trisha uh, Parent said it was uh, an amazing event, look. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I am genuinely really, ha uh, I don't know what I would do without on passive. Yeah. It is my life, and, uh, you know, I actually want to be more involved in it. Uh, not less. Thank you, Linda. They're they're purple. Of course, that's my favourite colour. They're purple, but they've got like a gold arm on them. But they are like the frame is like a lilac-y purple. So I think might go with my hair. Yes. <laughs> I don't think Red's even noticed I've got any new. I did. <laughs> I did. Don't don't you, do not listen to what her. Ebbs. I did. <laughs> what ebbs. Ebbs. Yeah, exactly. Okay, guys. Uh, Tomorrow, uh, 4 p.m., be back around. Uh, we'll go through the website a bit more in detail mm. and uh, we'll also pick the bones a bit more out of um, Ash Mufara on Friday night, uh, Let's O, and we'll pick a few bits of the subjects out of the questions that are asked and see if we can uh, divulge it a little bit more, maybe read between lines, etc. Uh, but as Ash had said, guys, Keep commenting, keep interacting. It really is very, very important for him that he has uh, inter, inter uh, connection with you guys. Uh, why? Because this is what he is doing it for. I think he must have really enjoyed the sort of um, the natural chat that he does with everyone because when you're surrounded by like geniuses and like it's all tech talk all day it must be really nice just to chill out chillax chillax it must be really nice to chillax with us minions well, out there you know I mean, don't forget guys you need to understand something about our ceo is he has no social life right yeah, e you know that. because i know he's his it like, sounds a bit like me no he, he does he he doesn't he does all his waking time is spent on uh, on passive. Mm. Yes, he ha yes he, he spends time with his wife and his kids. Of course he does. But as far as kicking back and relaxing is concerned, 
it's not like he's going around to friends' houses and going to meals and all the rest of it. That doesn't happen. So where does he go for his relaxing mm -hmm. time? Where does he go to kick back? Mm -hmm. And it's us. This is why you'll see him. And it was very apparent on Let's O with Ron and uh, Minnow's show that he hung around for a long time just chatting. Mm -hmm. Right. He looks good on being to Helen back a hundred times, doesn't he? Oh, no, I know, I wish I looked that good. Yeah, no, he looks good on it, considering he has, you know, he does go through quite a lot of crap for us. Yeah, but it's it is also taken its toll. If you look at pictures of our CEO now to five years ago, you know, it it has taken its toll on him. It's aged him. No, I'm saying it's aged him. Easy. I've said it's taken its toll on him. Yeah. Which it, is only a natural thing when no, I you... bet if you look at you five years ago or me though we don't look like we do now everyone ages in five years right no? yeah maybe maybe i think you look exactly the same jane <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> god help me i don't know what he's wanting dear me you're right no i know i'm just getting them all in in public <laughs> no, no, no. nobody would believe me no no right <laughs> anyway guys uh, that's it from us today uh, have a great day. We're going to say a few hellos, so don't go away. If you're a tea clubber, that is somebody that's in green, uh, stick your name down, you'll get the first shout out, and then we'll move across. So we'll start with Graham Burt and then Kaylee. Hi to you guys. Ah, oh, the lovely Nafiso is on as well. Uh, Sarinda Saho, Michael Champagne, uh, lovely Fatima. Hi to you. Curtis Strickland and Chris DeGrazia. Ah, oh, Tascuccio is hanging hello to Redferns. Jerry Nix, you're there. Myra Aquino, Siakim Tar, and Jarmo, sunning himself now back in the warm climes of Tenerife. Fantastic. He's been to see June, by the way. Uh, yeah, Greg Greisner there. Mondo Bissing Nanny, you are there as well. All tea clubbers, along with Galing Matthews. Thank you, guys. And I really do mean it. Thank you for your cup of tea. Every month, it means such a lot to me. Shrijit Jana as well. Let's move over then. Taran Yar, Michael Morse, Aseti Sanfo, Vivian Abemi. Hi, Michael Chatter, Kushal Pegu, Frank Rowe. Uh, we've got Rob, uh, Lynn Nakamoto, you are there. Say hi to Rob if he's not on, please. Joe Sordo, uh, Michael Chatter, Birgit Johansson, Cena, Robert Oaks, and Gemma Ramaki, Kushal Pegu, James Hawkins. Uh, lovely Gina Lever, I saw you there, Jean. Pa parents in the house, hi to you. Roy Davis from Florida, uh, Pravin Kumar, Frank Rowe. Ilias, you are there as, as well. Gemma Ramaki, Kenneth Thack, G Monin, I think. Faith Mitchally, Frank Rowe. Uh, Kiana McGoughlin, nice to see you back around again. And uh, Manjunath Ganiga, probably murdered that one. Uh, a Greek, no more than he murdered my name. It's Jane, not Jenny. A great, a Greek guy. Don't know what that says, but hi anyway. <laughs> Cecil Weir, uh, Roy Davis. I've said hello to you, Roy, haven't I? Cynthia Deering, uh, and da, 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 da. Michael Chatter. If I haven't said hello to you, George Walker Camway, you are there. Laurie Lunn, uh, David Oaks. Oh, so not David Oaks. Who's he? It's Robert Oaks' brother. Gailing Matthews, T Club in it, and uh, Vivi, uh, Virginia DeSanto, Ginger, Bergie oh, Johansson. Oh, that's a great name, Robert Riotas. I mean, what? I know. Thanks, our names sound very boring. I know. Uh, Angela Lynn, you're there. couple more then. We'll do, uh, who are we going to do? Jahangir. Uh, You've chosen one of the hosts. I know. <laughs> Alejandro, <laughs> Janet D. Hello to you, my baby, my mamopo. I've got to, I've got to try these things. And Gopal Sharma, <sighs> guys, you test me with your names. You <laughs> really, really do, name? honestly. I, I bet I'm miles off the mark as well. No. Anyway, as they say, practice is perfect. Maybe my dinner. You're there with lots of sunny flowers as well. So, okay, that's it from us. I hope it's been a uh, fun time on Monday Fun Day with you guys. We've enjoyed it, as always. We'll be back around again next Monday for another round. Uh, 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow at 4 p.m. where we are firmly back on the on passive train. And it will all be about that. Stay excited, folks. Stay excited. That's it. Okay, guys, speak to you all very, very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye Thank for you now. so much.